Whether it's different varieties of grapes or wines made in different years or in different regions, there are many things that can affect your wine drinking experience right down to the glass you're using. Doug Reed with Riedel Glass is here to explain why you need different glasses for different drinks. Doug, what is it about the glass that can change the wine's taste? Because it's more than just one thing, isn't it? Absolutely. It's uh, rim diameter. It's where the glass positions the wine onto your palate. Um, we have to remember that the glass is actually a messenger for the wine, for the winemaker. So so at Riedel, our philosophy is we like to work with the people who know the wine intimately and work with them to d design glass that's going to give us, the consumer, the ultimate experience and give us a representation of the wine that whoever made that wine wants us to perceive, wants us to uh, enjoy <laughs> about their wine. We actually went through that process here in Missouri a couple of years ago. We developed a glass for your beautiful Norton wine that you grow in Missouri and I brought that along to show because uh, Norton we found was being shown in uh, the wrong glass and being enjoyed the wrong glass and we came in, we brought George Riedel in, the 10th generation generation of the Riedel family, worked with uh, winemakers in the state of Missouri and developed a glass, so it was interesting for me to kind of see that process from the ground floor up. Now, did you want to get that wine started and let it breathe for a minute? Absolutely. I okay. brought along one of our uh, uh, most infamous decanters, the that, Eve decanter. <laughs> that, um, is, that is legendary. It is the one that always, I'll tell you, it's the one that TSA loves the most, let me tell you, when I when I go through the airports. They're like, what is this? Yeah, exactly. But uh, it was designed by Maximilian Riedel, the 11th generation of the Riedel family, and it's really designed to give wine maximum aeration. All right. Got it. As you notice that when the wine goes into the decanter, we get this lovely swirling action, a lot of great wine contact. We can see that the wine is being infused with oxygen by this lovely uh, sort of bubbling up underneath here. Give it a quick shake and oh, shake it up. You can, you can hear you can hear wine decanting. Oh, I can. It's Absolutely. decanting right now. I, decanting. I've always wondered what decanted wine sounds like. Now I know. <laughs> That's what so, it is. So what should you drink out of if you're a casual wine drinker? You know, we make wine glasses for all levels. We make wine glasses for people who are just really kind of getting into wine. We do our, our Overture series. This is our Overture Magnum glass. It's what we call a wine friendly glass. It's really designed for a lot of different varietals of wines. It's akin to if you're going to play around a round of golf, you're going to take one club, take your seven iron. It's going to get you around the course, but it's not going to be perfect for every shot. This is the glass you want, yes? At an entry level. As you grow with your wine experience and you start to enjoy specific varietals of wine, that's yes. when we really zero in. Like when you become a connoisseur, like what uh, should you use maybe? I don't know if a connoisseur is the right word, but just uh, when you start to really enjoy wine. Um, this was the glass that really started this all, uh, this whole varietal specific idea off for Riedel. It was designed in 1958 by Klaus Riedel. He designed it for specifically wines from Burgundy. It was the world's first varietal specific wine glass. So again, we make wine glasses specific to varietals. So as you grow with your wine knowledge and you really want to enhance what you're drinking, then move into one of our varietal specific glasses. This is a big boy glass of wine. It I will is. take this please. Now, I there. know. Is there an easy I don't rule? Recommend of, it. <laughs> is there an easy rule of thumb between red and white? Well, sometimes you'll see white wine glasses. Uh, for example, I brought our Venom XL tasting kit. This is the kit we used uh, last Thursday night at Jay Gilbert's. Voila. We had a fantastic tasting. We use those four glasses. You'll notice the two glasses on the outside. This is a Riesling glass. This is a Chardonnay glass. So it's hard to really say that, you know, a certain style goes with a certain red or white. I mean, there's reasons why the bowl shapes are the way they are. Let's pour something right now. We'll, get it. We'll, we'll pour something out. And you know what I want to know is uh, what, how much of what we taste is actually dependent upon what goes in the glass. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, uh, yeah, uh, there's a lot of things that kind of happen. It's this kind of wonderful chemistry that uh, adds to our wine experience. Oh, I want to show the other fantastic thing about the Eve decanter is it's designed to pour the perfect pour every time, one pour at a time. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And we're that ready is for the beautiful. second pour. We're ready to pour the second glass. Move this glass out of the way. But another fantastic uh, design feature, the beautiful Eve decanter. Cheers and this glass friend. we're using is our Venom Cabernet glass, designed for really all Bordeaux varietals, but specifically Cabernet. Excellent. Cheers. Cheers, oh, cheers my friend. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you. I appreciate you coming on and showing us what you got. I'm going to have a little taste. Awesome advice today, my friend. Thanks so much for coming by, and we're going to toss.